Welcome to We Funny AF, formerly the Imperial Inc. Live podcast, same crew, new do. We got the upper echelon, end all, be all, duality, part 108, hold up, available across all streaming services. We still have the same website set up for merch at imperialinkmusic.com. Various t-shirts and masks, and we also have new merch on the way specifically for the podcast, and it's coming soon. So... Let's get into this, y'all. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, them Imperial boys is back. Yeah. And of course, you know we had to come back on some new shit. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, without further ado, I welcome you to the We Funny AF Podcast. Yeah. I'm the one and only Fig. I'm with my main man Biggs, and we about to take you there. Let's go. We funny AF. 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 And on this episode of uh, We Funny AF, we get ready to do uh, Ear to the Street, our, our norm. And Figs want to know. That something pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Something's always pissing you off. What's pissing you off? I'm now? tired uh-huh. of the comparisons of these bum ass artists <laughs> to Michael <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> Imperial Live, you know we bring that heat. It's time to get ready for the ear to the street. All right, what stemmed this annoyance for you? you What happened? Every now and then a rapper comes out or Mm -hmm. an R&B singer comes out Mm -hmm. wants to say, that one of these artists is close to Mike. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm like, you out your fucking mind. <laughs> I seen the other day when Boozy was trying to validate the R. Kelly, uh, oh, Michael yeah. Jackson uh, comparison. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, not close, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> what was his thing with that? He was trying to say R. Kelly could match him. Probably, I mean, you something. know, maybe in a versus. You know what I mean? I don't know where he was going. I with. think that's what he was referring to. I don't to. know what he was it, going with. For, like hit for hit type yeah. thing. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's crazy? Well, I mean, R. Kelly probably got a bigger catalog. <clears throat> well, he, he probably got a lot of music. But if I was Mike, I'd go in that motherfucker and sit down at the table and mm-hmm. start Thriller from number start one. From, yeah, from the beginning and to sit the there end. And look at your dumb ass. He'll <laughs> be like, what you got for this? The remix to Ignition, nigga. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> this is Thriller. This is price yeah. on my shit, nigga. What, what you got, nigga? What's even like more improbable with that whole situation is the fact that he wrote songs for Michael Jackson. Yeah. He worked yeah. for Michael Jackson. He worked with Mike, <laughs> yeah. but you know, but on a couple that, of do tracks. we think that since he wrote for Mike, that he <laughs> might be just as good as Mike? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then they going to try to compare Chris Brown to Mike. Okay. I know y'all niggas is lost y'all. <laughs> My question with you with that one is why is that a bad comparison? Well, Chris Brown, great entertainer. Yeah. Dances. Yeah. His voice sang close yeah. to Mike's. No, nah, but uh, he can sing, though. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> the nigga always look dirty. Who, he, Chris Brown? Yeah, <laughs> he just got a t-shirt. So he don't look like his performing. I well, I've never been in a Chris Brown show, so I uh, can't really say what he does at the show. Uh huh. But you mean to tell me that <laughs> that nigga got Mike 
Do y'all know that Mike sell out in countries y'all can't even motherfucking pronounce? <laughs> y'all don't even know half of the places this nigga sold out. <laughs> I mean, Who Chris, rocks Bucharest? <laughs> Chris Brown ain't tra- He might have sold some in the tropics. <laughs> but nigga, he ain't selling out in Russia. He ain't got everybody singing, make that. Change. <laughs> you know what I mean? Motherfuckers pass out at Mike concerts. Yeah. I, well, I'm sure they pass out at Chris Brown concerts. He got them little teenage girls and all up in him. Them bitches is just too hot. <laughs> <laughs> they sweat. They been sitting out on the line all day waiting to take a picture with Chris. I ain't knocking Chris. I've even heard somebody try to say Usher. Usher. Uh, Usher. Uh-huh. Nope. <laughs> catalog wise Chris Brown I will give him that cause this nigga's catalog is sick and he's been in the game for a hot minute the way you make me feel <laughs> but his catalog though is crazy Billy Jean nigga. I play that and look at them niggas like they was crazy we can go back further we can play um PYT, or uh-huh. was that on the Driller album too? Yeah, that's on Thriller. Uh, but we could go back to uh, Off the Wall, niggas. <laughs> we can go back to uh, I Want to Rock With You. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all been trying to recreate that song for 20 some, 35 years. Y'all motherfuckers ain't fucking with Mike. <laughs> oh, wh- if you could pick an artist that uh-huh. you think would have the, the, who is the most similar artist? Uh, to the hype that Mike had, probably Chris Brown. I ain't ah. gonna say he's matching him. I don't. I'm just gonna say he's he's a. Well, does it have to be male or fe- male? It female? can be female. Beyonce. That's what I was getting to. Because <laughs> that that's bitch's what I was reach to. is sickening. That's what I was getting to. Yeah, like, it's yeah, sickening. Yeah. Her reach is insane. She's right selling now. out in Budapest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She is, and when you can get. Uh, Jay Z, which of course is that's her husband, Chris Jenner, uh, Quest Love, and Offset in one crowd doing the electric slide <laughs> in a pit full of other celebrities, you got some shit going on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When well, you can have Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in the audience, yeah, jamming. You yeah, know, you got you got some pull. Motherfuckers you know? go to beyond. I've seen yeah. so. Niggas has been selling their lives to go to Beyonce concerts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you, well, speaking of selling bulls, well, doing some crazy shit to go to a show, Drake just gave somebody $50,000. Yeah, Did I you seen hear about that. that? I seen that. Because that dude sold his, or no, he used his uh, furniture money. Yeah, yeah, to, <laughs> to come get to the tickets show. for the show. That's dope shit. Yeah, and I'm like, that's crazy. But now he's going to have to deal with like 40 signs in the audience talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, miss my rent <laughs> to come to this show, <laughs> nigga. I, I sold one of my legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I just, but but yeah, I think Chris Chris Brown male wise would probably be the closest. You know, and, I think I think Mike is. <laughs> Mike might not be the Beatles, but he's up there with how the Beatles was. <sighs> you know what? I though? think Mike's up there with how Elvis uh, was. Yeah, yeah. Um, he is iconic. I mean, and, and plus he bought their catalog. Yeah. So yeah. you know, you can't. Mike was the man. I, but I, you can't make me believe that I just named them three names, uh-huh. and after that, I can say Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> or motherfucking R. Kelly. Uh, R. Kelly, no, yeah. absolutely not. But no. Chris Brown, I think he's a hell of an entertainer. He's he's close. He 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 ain't matching him. Like he, like we said, Beyonce is probably right there at matching yeah. him. You know, because she's doing she's doing is, some shit. It, boy, I, is there a male other than Chris Brown? <sighs> You can even well, go to said, a different genre. You said, is there a country well, artist? Jason Aldean. <laughs> That's irony. Uh, country artist, or has there ever been one? <sighs> Not really. I mean, because he he did some unprecedented shit, you know, in albums. Garth sales Brooks and shit, was a so. bad motherfucker, though. Garth might be up there. You know, he's he's it, Garth he's was one a of them. Bad motherfucker. He did some numbers. Yeah, absolutely, he did some numbers. Uh, but I don't think he's got that Michael Jackson numbers yet. Yeah. You know, Justin Timberlake might have uh, 
a little play in there. Not not a bunch. No, I, he's but, probably at Chris Brown status. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I don't. I don't think anybody, to be honest with you, has matched Mike by any no, means. What, I mean, but, I think, I think at one time Janet was close. Yeah, and Janet, and she can keep doing it. That's the thing. She mm. could. She could still pack houses. Hell, I just went and seen her. In you couldn't see Mike. Nashville. You wanted to see Janet. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. At yeah, one time, you yeah. Know? So I think she's she's probably close. But like I said, women it probably be Beyonce, John, uh, Janet. Fucking, uh, and I hate to say this, but probably Taylor Swift. Yeah, Taylor it, big moves. Yeah, when, when I'm not, I, I, she actually has a couple of songs off his last joint that I actually like, but she has control of them teenagers, boy. Mm-hmm. I mean, she has got some pull on them teenagers and them little young girls. She's got all the pull in the world with them kids. Is there a rapper? Uh, Drake is close. Mm-hmm. You uh, think Michael Jackson status? He's close. I didn't say he's Michael Jackson status. He's close. Mm. I don't think there are any iconic, uh, as far as pop is concerned. Uh, Jay Z could be. <laughs> I mean, he's a household. Yeah, he's a he, household he's, name. He's you know? a house, especially to the hip hop audience and the pop audience, because of his business moves. Not necessarily because of his rap Rapping. skills, yeah, yeah, yeah. which sucks because he's one of the best MCs out there. Snoop is up there. Now, pretty Snoop, high. he's he's iconic. I, I would give it to Snoop's Snoop. He is there. iconic. Snoop, um, as long as he's been in the business and is still relevant and can still put, he be featuring on people's shit and will do it for little or nothing for some people and. They're hits, you know what mm-hmm. I mean. So you can't miss with Snoop. So yeah, I think he's got he's got that iconic status going on too. Can LL get any praise? I I think he's one of the. I think he deserves more praise than he gets, because I mean hell, he's the one that came up with the goat. You know what I mean? Right. He's the one who who he's been in the game for a long ass he time ain't Mike too. Mike status though. No, he's not. None of them are Mike status, but I he's 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 still t- iconic, especially to real hip hop heads. Right. You know, now to the regular <laughs> listener, they ain't gonna know who LL is. Right. You know what I mean? They right. they might know of him when he's on TV, but they had no idea how dope of an MC he is. Which I hope he dispels that when he comes out with this next album that he comes out with. Was Prince on mic level? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do believe. I believe. I don't think he was equal, but I think he was. On uh, he was on his own um, level. Let's just put it that way. He might didn't really he, his cult following. I believe it's deeper than Mike's. Yes, and I believe that he might have didn't sell in Budacrest as much as Mike did. But mm-hmm. uh, I always still want to give Mike uh, Prince the nod. Oh yeah, because he did it all. Like he yeah, do see. I I give. I want to just say Prince was a more well rounded. Artist. Yeah, that's true. You know I mean, when you think about his catalog, which still hasn't even, a third of it hasn't even been touched. Right. You know, that says a lot. And then you think about all the songs he did for other people, mm-hmm. um, like Sinead O'Connor and The Bangles and yeah. uh, The Family, Vanity Six, Apollonia Six. Every song you hear in Purple Rain, including the time, was Prince. You know, it was all him. So as far as uh, his, his ability and his uh, work ethic, he can't I be think touched. about Prince is I, I feel like Prince is the only person that really rivaled Mike and Mike rivaled Prince. Like I yeah. believe that was the top Some, of the crew. <laughs> somebody I can't remember who it was told a story about them being in the club at the same time when Prince was playing and Prince had the bass guitar playing it in Mike's face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember who told that story, but that shit had me crying. Well, Prince was a trouble starter from yeah. what I understand. But they said Mike was too. Yeah. They said Mike loved drama. Yeah. Uh, Quincy Jones was talking about how he would like to start shit. <laughs> yeah, well. Which cracks me up because it's ironic that he don't want nobody to talk about him. Yeah. But then he'll I, fuck with I, some people. <laughs> you'll see in that Rick James documentary it was the time when Rick was about to probably stab Prince. Prince, and, yeah, yeah, he hated Prince. Yeah. I knew that. I remember. I remember when all that was going on as a kid. I remember that shit. And Prince was, would just do foul shit to him to piss him <laughs> off. Like <laughs> he played too long on purpose. And shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that uh, Prince opened for the Rolling Stones? Did you know that? I did not know that. He opened for them 
when he first came out, and they he he got booed like a motherfucker. Oh, I might have, th- I, might was, have heard that. I think they threw bottles and everything mm-hmm. at his ass, and they was like, "Nah, we don't need to see this little skinny dude oh. up here trying to sing in front of the Stones." And it's amazing to me that groups like the Rolling Stones and John Cougar, Mellencamp, uh, whereas their admiration for Prince was as deep as it was, um, even when uh, Steve Petty and all those kids, with all those dudes was playing uh, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame mm-hmm. with him. They all had this huge admiration for mm-hmm. Prince, which I didn't know. Paul Stanley from Kiss, uh, right. Gene Simmons, all these kids, they, all these dudes, they were You know them motherfuckers was listening to Controversy like, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> <laughs> listen to that riff. <laughs> listen to them. Listen to them. ZZ Top, yeah. dude from ZZ Top bugged out over the... The intro to When Doves Cry, because oh. he was like, how the fuck did he play that shit? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, Prince had his own yeah, thing going Prince on. Prince was the dude. Yeah, but like you said, yeah. I, I don't think he could sell out Bucharest like Mike did, because on a global scale, that, he could sell out in just about anywhere, and and people would come in droves to see him, you know? Uh, Prince had it, but he, I don't think he had it quite like that, though. Right. So I, I, in comparisons, there is no comparison to me, honestly. Now, there are people who are getting to them statuses, but nobody's reached it. We've lost all those artists who though, or those icons. When you lost Prince, Mike, and uh, Whitney, mm. you know, that's... Was Whitney on Mike's status? Uh, I think she, she was up there because couldn't nobody, can't nobody fuck with Whitney, Whitney's vocals. Can't right. nobody mess with her. You know, they just can't. But I don't think she had the worldwide status like he did. Was Stevie Wonder ever at that status? No, I don't. And, and what's crazy about that is that's another Prince. You know, Prince is another Stevie Wonder, should I say. Because right. Stevie could play everything. Keys, uh, drums. Uh, uh, I think he could play horns, if I'm not mistaken. He was He's a genius. But, again, he didn't have that global pool like Mike did. Yeah. I can't think of nobody else that had global pool like that. I'm nobody, sure you, you too, had some global pool. They do, but they still ain't Mike. <laughs> they still ain't outsold him, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's he. Mike, was a he's a legend. The you Wu-Tang know? Clan got global pool. Yeah, but they, they still ain't, ain't Mike. Mike, Mike yeah. status, <laughs> but they don't, you know. But they, they ain't Mike. I, like you said, I don't think anybody can fuck with Mike. I want that global pull. Do you? Mm-hmm. You want to rock in Bucharest? I believe Pit. <laughs> I believe Pitbull got some global pull. Uh, yeah, it's not a Mike status, but he's he's yeah. he's got a global appeal. You know, I, I totally understand well, that. So Beyonce is the closest thing to Mike. probably, probably. More than likely. I mean, after all, she is the top-selling tour in history as, as far as females is concerned. My man Jimmy so. Buffett died this week. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah, that I was sad. Jimmy. I did, too. When yeah. I was hanging out with them white people, <laughs> that's what we listened to. <laughs> they be on there, and it was relaxing in <laughs> a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, they love Buffett. I, Wasting Buff- away in Margarita Field. <laughs> 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 nah, but Jimmy Buffett... Um, that was a sad passing. And the leader, I don't know his name, but the lead singer from Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth, yeah. I, Is that the song? Somebody's gonna yes. tell me I'm the... the yeah, that ain't the word. I ain't yeah. the brightest tool in the city. <laughs> yeah, my song was Walking in the Sun, though. Walking on the Sun. I love that song. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I... I I, that was sad. I heard about that. Yeah. They said he died of liver failure. Oh, really? And I think it was from due to the massive amount of partying he did. Yeah. It's what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not. But yeah. it's sad how, and notice that just about everybody we're talking about has passed of something really yeah. fucked up like that. And it's sad that you get so big that even your yes people can't tell you, you know. no. You know what yeah. I mean? And that that's what's really heartbreaking. Like Prince should never they said he should never been left alone. Right. You know, that's why he died. So much to see, so much to say, so much some substance to play, 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 play. <laughs> you, you never know when you're going to grow. <laughs> hey, now, you an all-star. Get your game on. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, yeah. All that glitters ain't gold. <laughs> I'm going to say Beyonce is the closest. Uh, and who who did we say was the second or third? 
Did we say? I don't know if we had a third. No. You said you still on that crash smile. Well, I'm just saying entertainer. Entertaining-wise and catalog-wise, he's right behind it. I want to to know what he sells international-wise. Now, international, I'm not really sure because I don't know of him selling out crowds overseas yeah. or even if he's allowed overseas from some of the dumb shit he's done in the past I think I don't Bad know. Bunny might be on motherfuckers heels <laughs> and I don't understand why really well I liked his performance at the Grammys I like Bad Bunny and um what's the uh, um uh, what's his name Maluma uh-huh. I like them dudes um I don't know what the fuck they be saying you know cause it's what Spanish uh-huh. but I, I get it. I get the appeal. Oh, when I hear know. that Spanish music, I just get to moving. <laughs> I go back to Mexico. Oh. Where you can get worked out at the club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been on a little uh, international kick uh, uh, with the uh, the Africans. They starting to take over, dude. Tim's and uh, that's another person I like. Male or female? Uh, some male. Um, Wiz Kid. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Tim's is all over the place. People are loving her Man, right she's now. She's sexy, too. You think so? Nice chocolatey. <laughs> Just chocolatey. <laughs> delicious. Chocolatey delicious. Yes. What do you think about Dochi? Do you like her? I don't, I'm not sure who she is. She's the one that's got that song, uh, What It Is, Ho, What's Up? Every so, uh, black boy need a little love. I'd you never to, heard that? I have to see her. Okay, I have to, I'll find She's done some wild ass videos. I'd like. probably touch on her too. <laughs> <laughs> she was one of the opening acts for Beyonce. Okay. She, uh, on, when she was in LA. And I ain't supposed to be looking at Chloe Bailey and them like that, but damn. But they grown now, so you can look at them she like that. She had a bathing suit on the other day. I was like, shake that monkey. <laughs> <laughs> my hand in my pocket. Ew. <laughs> That's some information over there. Yeah. But nah, I think that, that Beyonce is probably closest. That's what that's what I say. You don't She's never twirl your thing in your pocket. Nah, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I cut a hole in my pocket. Ew. I'm just playing. Ew. Pocket <laughs> pool. Well, nigga, you talking about ooh, you yeah. don't wear underwear. Well, that's different. Why? I, I don't like underwear. Well, that shit, that should be the easiest the, access. Them. I mean, hell, if you didn't wear underwear and put your head in your pocket, you should be right there. <laughs> You're right there. You should like to be there. Might be some extra good feeling going on. <laughs> you right there. See, I'm not doing that because I have to be in public, and I can't be doing that kind uh, of shit in public. That's nasty. Shake that uh, monkey. You <laughs> 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 <It's> fucking stupid. <laughs> Chloe, was that Chloe you saw? Yeah, I think it's Chloe. I, I don't know which one, but they they some some nice looking women. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah. You know your two girls got a song at Red Drop too. Oh yeah, Megan and uh, and uh, Cardi. Yeah, yeah. Are you? I'd have sex with both of them too. Would you? <laughs> nice chocolatey, <laughs> another chocolatey dessert. <laughs> Chocolate pudding. You see where but that bitch about seven foot tall. I, I don't know Who how. Megan? Yeah, I'd have to run and jump on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on for dead life. Yeah. <laughs> You are ignorant as fuck. But uh, I bet it's about to be a raunchy. What's it called? Bongos? Or bongos, something? I think. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be nasty. As nasty of course gonna it's going to be nasty. Play with my bongos. And then <laughs> put your dick in my mouth. And <laughs> 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 Me and Walt got into a conversation about that online where he was talking about he is. I guess underappreciative of the what he called whole rap. Yeah, um, I'm underappreciative too. Why? Because it's just so vulgar. So, and I was watching niggas is being well, well, vulgar from I, day I, well, fucking one. I was watching. A, I seen a video the other day where Sexy Red pulled up to a store, and uh-huh. a kid put, walked up to her car and said, "Are you Sexy Red?" And she said, "Yeah, how you know me?" And that kid started singing that song, mm-hmm. and she was like, "Hey, go ahead with your little self." Uh-huh. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, this little nigga singing that song at school. What talk, the fuck was talk. you singing in school? Not my booty hoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. <laughs> 
I might be talking about some Bob yeah. Deep shooting a nigga and sell some crack okay. on, the, cor- on okay. the corner. But that ain't my booty hoes, Brown. <laughs> <laughs> you want your little girl going to school talking about, about, hey, guess I, what? I, hey, I, 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 hey, my booty hoes, man. Got- pound town. <laughs> pound, pound, town. <laughs> like, what? I just got into a conversation with Alfie about that, too. You want your and little daughter in school talking about, get ready I, for some wet ass pussy. <laughs> 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 like, nigga, you want that? First of all, as a parent, your ass need to see what the fuck your kids are doing. But you also That's number know, one. yes. But you but also know, nigga, two, you were sneaking. I was getting ready to say, but kids are going to find shit. They they just are. That's how kids are. We all were there. We already done that. But y'all need to let go of this shit where y'all control the narrative of what of what a woman says. You gotta let go you of that just, shit. You just pervert it and like it. And you know what? And I was gonna tell you, Alfie just told me the same shit. <laughs> Cause he was talking about it. And I was you like, just like it. I was like, yeah, I do love it. I was like, y'all just mad because they saying the shit y'all been saying for years. I and ain't they never are, said and they I are, ain't never and said they let are, me get in your wet they, slippery they, slot. <laughs> <laughs> Make you hot. <laughs> and, they, and they control it now. Eat and your pussy like some tater tots. And you <laughs> like, what, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I and you motherfuckers <laughs> can't handle it. Let it go. Let's let them do what they do. My dick it head red. My dick, head. My dick head red. It would be different if these women could come out and be like Rhapsody or be like Queen Latifah. But that ain't them, and that ain't going to sell records. I can pick a bottle up with my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, ain't never, I mean, this, it's probably a song that like that right now. Probably. Like, yeah. I ain't hey, even going to front. It probably uh, yeah. is. But y'all got to let it go. Let I these women do what they got to do. You do. You got to let, let them it go. do that. And I'm going to stand there with my hand in my pocket. <laughs> but when somebody asks me, I don't respect it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just contradicted yourself, well, though. Well, don't nobody know that said, my hand is in my pocket? I ain't talking about and, and, that. I don't oh, give a fuck about oh, that. I'm talking oh. about how you said you appreciated Cardi's rise. You appreciate it. I appreciate the hard work, and I do appreciate her grind, and I realize her music ain't for me. I mean, every song ain't like that. Right. But, you know, it still ain't for me. I don't ride around Bob Cardi. But I I mean, I feel like if you was going to come from a stripper situation Uh and you have maximized your potential to you a fucking multi-platinum selling artist, you necessarily really can't hate on her. No matter what she really does. Right. But... God damn. <laughs> I mean, I don't want my little granddaughter twerking. I'm well, sorry. But you don't want your grandson talking about shooting motherfuckers either. No. Okay, that's what but, that's but, my point. But but it's ass. You know I, I'm right. But See, I, be, I believe right. I believe talking about shooting somebody is more of a lie, and I think my grandson will realize that, and he's not going to go out and just shoot a motherfucker. But, do but you my granddaughter is going to think it's okay to bust it open at her fourth birthday party, and I ain't with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I mean? So, like, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I don't I, will. Man, I don't think. Uh, well, uh, you just go first over of all, with your you perverted need... ass self, <laughs> <laughs> and you enjoy that shit. Alvin said it online too. He said, "Well, you nasty." Though. And I, and I mean, okay, I, I can't get mad at him for getting money. If people gonna pay them to do that, get that money, right? But I feel like you're also being used by the record labels in the, in the industry too. Uh, they're letting you basically slut yourself the fuck out uh, to make them money. So you know, uh, you got kids and shit. Gain gain a little uh, consciousness, you know. See, that's annoying. Cause, uh, like that's said, annoying. Well, say what yeah, you want to say. I done said it. Say I've what you want to say. I've said it repeatedly, but to, you know, hard-headed niggas like you ain't ever going to hear it. No. You know, because no. Well, because listen. y'all are still in this whole mindset that what you say and the way you was brought up is how things should go right. as far as it's concerned with the women. I but understand. the women listen. are saying, "Look, no, stop. You let me talk. Fuck the women, <laughs> <laughs> The women... Are in control of what they put out there. Yeah, they getting paid to slut themselves out or whatever, if that's what you want to call it. But they control that. Has nothing to do with the men. 
you know. And maybe these men are sitting to the side with their hands in their pocket. That's probably why the shit is out there anyway, to get them in their pocket with their money and they did. Well, do porn then. They ain't got to do porn. Why do porn if I ain't got to and I can still get the money? I understand that. You see what I mean? And, 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 and I, listen. And it, to it, me, it, to a, me, it goes, me bo- it goes both ways. Yeah, because okay. if you don't want don't, your daughter, first of all, like I said, watch what your kids are doing. Yes, they going to sneak and find it. But watch what your kids are doing and explain that shit to them when they find it. That way you won't have kids misunderstanding what is being put out there. That girl knows that she ain't supposed to be doing that. That boy knows he ain't supposed to be going out and shooting shooting people. Can't leave it up to a kid to make their mind up about well, what this shit is. You, know, you got to tell And them. I guess I'm old school to the point that, that back in the day, that music was harder to get a hold of. Like you yeah. couldn't just walk in a record store and buy that shit. Yeah. Now, now you can get it anywhere. You can get it anywhere. Yeah. And I believe that's what gives the kids access. Yeah. Now listen. Does. Now listen. I'm listening. I'm not condemning. Fuck you. No, I'm playing. I'm not trying to condemn <laughs> these women. And and it is a thin line. It's a very thin line for me because, like uh-huh. I say, you know, go get your money. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. But at the same time, I also say that you know. Stand behind the message that you're spreading. Also, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying. So, uh-huh. if somebody, if you tell a motherfucker to throw some water on you and they throw some water on you, don't you throw the throw mic, mic at them. <laughs> <laughs> if you make a whole music and somebody call you a hoe, stand on that. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Cardi will probably shoot you. You call her a hoe. But I mean, I'm just saying. Well, you know, because but, technically she's not. I mean, she's a married woman with does she one not, man. Does she not sound? Like a hoe, you know why? The reason why she doesn't sound like a hoe to me is because I know she's a married woman. I right. know she's got kids. Right. I know she's got that side going on, and this shit okay. ain't even fucking so you, real. So you're good at separating. Yeah. I'm you're very good, good at, at separating. That's just like can... I'm good at separating the gunshots and the, and right, the, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I'm good at I'm good at admiring the fact that R. Kelly is a fucking genius, right? But he's also a fucked up individual, right? And I can separate yeah, those you two say the same about Mike. Well, you know they I mean? can, but I don't believe that shit from some of the shit I've seen with interviews with his family right. of what happened in the courts and all that kind of shit. Because right. they actually explained the shit that he got took. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that I, that's different for me. But because I don't think Mike was that dude. That I mean, but somebody, to some people as. believe it. But yeah, but some people believe but, it. And also, if you want to see something bad enough, you're gonna see it. Well, you let's know what just I mean? go back to that tired shit you was talking about when you try to get <laughs> huffy and puffy. And well, I just, I'm <laughs> what you say? I'm tired of that shit. That's <laughs> the same old shit. And you so hard headed that you don't <laughs> never hear, motherfucker. <laughs> listen to me. Go, I'm listening. I just don't want my little granddaughter mm-hmm. popping it open at her fourth grade <laughs> birthday party to some Shakina or <laughs> Sukina or whatever her name is. Like, I mean, well, I that's mean, on you. Okay, now when she gets older and she gets in the clubs, mm-hmm. do that shit. I mean, you're going to go through that spell. You're going to go through that. But, mm-hmm. I mean, it's just amazing how many kids is running around here, you know. That's, that's parenting, dude. Yeah, that's all I mean, that is. Yeah, but you can't fucking lock a kid up no but you can tell a kid not to do some shit they learn shit at school yeah they do they do and like you said it's easy access anybody can get anything nowadays it don't take much (laughs) but that's a kid that's a parent's responsibility that's like when eminem used to get a bunch of flat for all the crazy ass shit he was saying and he was and they were like he was detrimental to a kid's uh i guess upbringing Mm -hmm. which is ironic because he bought up what three kids and he knew how to separate them from who his on stage persona was as opposed to who he really was in real life. Shit ain't real. You know, when you see these bitches on, on, on TV and YouTube, a lot of times that shit is not real. Well, it's, it's not. I just put but it. I totally understand what you're saying. You don't want your kid, your daughter, your, your I niece just or whatever I to do anything way. like that one just because they see it on TV and think it's okay. I'm going to end it like this. Okay. I'm cool. Oh, with, y'all, he going to cut us off. I'm cool. <laughs> with, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with you. <laughs> I'm cool with you grinding. Uh-huh. I'm cool with looking at your kitty. But I don't want the kids looking at your kitty. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just the way it goes. Maybe I, maybe I'm ass backwards. I don't, I don't want the kids to look at your, your kitty. kitty. <laughs>
Put the kitty up when the kids come to the room. That's funny as fuck to me. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, because I feel like it is for grown adults. Like, it is. That type it of is. It is. I mean, even back in the day when you had like, do you remember Blowfly? Blowfly? Do you remember him? Yeah, I remember that. You know how it's filthy? You know, because yeah. he was nasty. And that was back in the 80s. You Girl, know? you think you hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Rick. Yeah. But uh, uh, my boy, Old Dirty Bastard, sung a uh, Blowfly song. Oh, oh see? Yeah. And back in the day, we wasn't supposed to be hearing that shit, mm-hmm. but we heard it. You know, but yeah, to me, you know, it, it's all about parenting. You know, watch yeah. what the fuck your kids are doing. Granted, some, they going to get some shit before oh, you see it. Somebody should have stopped your perverted ass. <laughs> <laughs> somebody should have parented your ass a little bit Because <laughs> you live choice. I don't know how we got off Michael Jackson and Chris yeah. Brown and Beyonce. Because oh, we went down the list of performers. Yeah. And, people, you know, and, and, and I almost ended up in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna fight. Uh, over that, I, I, you over don't that, know. I'm about oh, swung on you. Oh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm about over that dumb shit. Yeah, we ain't gonna fight over that. Yeah, but you yeah. motherfucking must be stupid because you ain't hearing what I'm saying. <laughs> What's amazing? I am tired of this shit. <laughs> I am, I'm so sick of these dumb niggas always bringing that up. <laughs> What's funny about that is I didn't say none of that. Yeah, that's what it feel like. <laughs> well, that's what you heard. I didn't say yeah, none that's of what that. I, that's exactly what the fuck I heard. That is- and that's why I'm 38 <laughs> hot. <laughs> nigga over this motherfucker. <laughs> Ain't even what I said. Mm-hmm. But Beyonce is the closest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Uh, we out. Peace. New segment. Segment. On We Funny AF. It's called. The hot shit. The hot shit. Um, I think it's where Figs is going to, or, or me, but this time it's Figs <clears throat> is going to talk. Is it a particular album? Well, you know, this time I'm just really going to talk about classic albums. This segment is about, like, you know, music we want you to probably check out mm-hmm. and see, you know, if, if you feel the same about it as we do. But mm-hmm. these is classic albums, undeniable albums. Is like, this or is this one you're talking nah, about or seven? I wrote down a few. Okay, I cool. wrote down a few. That'll work. What you got first? Well, the main ingredient, mm-hmm. and I know you probably ain't as familiar with the main main ingredient. It's by an artist, mm-hmm. uh, by two artists named CL Smooth and Pete Rock. Pete Rock and CL Smooth. It's the uh, well, actually, it's technically the third album because they had the EP all sold out, and then there was the album. I'm sure you're uh, familiar with Mecca and his Soul Brother. Yeah. But the main ingredient is uh, the vibes on this album is totally different than the previous album. That was the third one, wasn't it? Yes, the third one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a good album. It was very melodic. It It's an album that I'd like to describe as a, an album you play when you're just chilling on the beach or... You know, just what makes what it. what in it, what sonically makes it feel like that it's for you? The samples, uh, a lot of the samples are bluesy or jazzy. Okay. Um, it it just uh, it's just a complete album. I think it gets forgotten mm-hmm. about uh, amongst hip hop albums. I agree with you. Pete, uh, you said Pete Rock produced that, right? Yes. And he's a fucking genius. Yes, he is. So yeah, I need to go back and listen it's to that beautiful. album again. I, I think I've listened to it once. It's cause, beautiful. Because it came out, out after Mecca, and I was crazy about that album. And Pete Rock, like you said, is a fucking It's a good album amazing. to ride to, too. But, but I want to go back and check it out now just for that reason. <clears throat> what else you got? Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, Beats, Rhymes, and Life by A Tribe Called Quest. Which one was that? The fourth? Oh, let's see. You had you had um, low end theory. No, no, that was that's the second. First, first is, is people's instinct to travel. Yeah, and then then low end theory. theory. Then midnight marauders. I want to say midnight marauders, but are we forgetting the album? It midnight. feels like we are. <laughs> low end uh, theory, midnight marauders, and there was one after that, and then they the one right before five died. Well, beats it was well then it goes uh, midnight marauders, beats rhyming life. Um, the love movement, and then the last one. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, what about this? But Beef Rhymes of Life was uh, it had banging ass drums. Like 
it was a little bit more bouncy than uh, Midnight Marauders. Mm -hmm. Now, Midnight Marauders is a classic, too. Don't get me fucking wrong. Right. You know, but it was a little more melodic. I feel like... Uh, Midnight was the one that had uh, uh, the joint with Dayla on the hook. Uh, uh, award, uh, award, award tour. tour. Yeah, award tour. Isn't that right? Uh, is that, I think it was that Midnight might Marauders. Be. Yeah, that because was Because they had the little segments between it Beats, where it was Rhymes like and Life. Beats, Rhymes, and Life had stressed out with Faith Evans. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It had uh, phony, I forgot phony rappers. We do not excite phony rappers. Uh, it was Dilla heavy. So, okay. you know, um, that was a good album. Mm -hmm. It's an album that I think it slept on, but it's a different mood than their normal. Right. It's harder. It's crazy because when you mention them, uh, the Native Tongue crew in general, uh, the ones that lasted in that crew did a lot of, they out, between them and Daylight, they did a lot of albums where you can see where the significant choice of what they were doing changes. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So they changed every album. I mean, yeah. no sound was ever duplicated right. for any album. So right. It was it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I also um I I want to talk about this album. I just recently revisited this album, but uh To Pimp a Butterfly. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yes. Dot. Uh what 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 about this one? It is... just felt so good. <laughs> it felt it felt good all the way down. Uh -huh. It was like five six hits on that motherfucker. Like it was hit, hit heavy. It was, um, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, my favorite shit is this dick ain't free. <laughs> you looking at me like baby. <laughs> <laughs> one thing matter I matter matter though. <laughs> one thing I can say about Kendra is he ain't afraid to do shit. He will come out in different voices. He will like sing some shit. He will do some shit that, that really nigga don't had make a any chorus on the song. <laughs> that nigga had a chorus on the song that said, At first I did love you. <laughs> but I just want to fuck. That's <laughs> and learn. That's and learn. <laughs> you was my first girlfriend. <laughs> Kendrick will come out with some, like I said, he'll come out with some shit and you won't know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah. But he'll kill it though and yeah. make you believe it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's why he got the it, it. As far as uh, creativity and um, just a well put together album. It's definitely a classic. I like. It's gonna be all right. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. like. Uh, which uh, which is that your favorite Kendrick album? Like um, out of the ones to he's got a butterfly. Out? Yeah. I don't know. I'm a big. Mad, you big mad uh, uh, mad, mad kid. Mad kid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big mad kid fan. Uh -huh. Um, you know, I like them all. Uh, -huh. uh I like damn. Yeah. I like the last one. I think. Yeah, that a lot one was of people very artsy fartsy. It, it's quiet about it though, so I feel yeah. like people slept on it a little bit. But, yeah. uh, well, because like you said, it wasn't one of them albums where it, it was hit heavy. It was more of a concept uh, yeah. album. You know what I mean? You had to really uh, appreciate it for the story it told. Right, right. And it and it just didn't have a lot of singles on it like that. Right. But, but it was a, an amazing album. Who else you got? You got any more? Um. It's obvious, Thriller. Um, okay. Thriller from beginning to end. Um, what about it, though? Nigga. <laughs> Nobody did that. Nobody uh -huh. was sounding like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the innovativeness of the whole fucking project. Yeah. Um, you know, it changed. I believe it probably changed music. Yeah. It set the tone. Yeah, uh, it was an eighties phenomenon. Yeah, it, it was a, it was a pop. Uh, Y'all niggas weren't making beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas didn't have no idea it, it was, about Billy Jean and them. It was, <laughs> it was an amazing pop uh, adventure as far as music is concerned. And, and I also say Purple Rain. Yeah, I could see that too. Yeah. And, uh, and Purple Rain, very Purple innovative. Rain. <laughs> Mike and Prince, though, God, those dudes ruled that shit. Sign your name on the dotted line. <laughs> the lights went out and Nikki started to grind. <laughs> Come back, 
neck out. Okay, come back. we don't need all that. Uh, I'm else? sorry. You got anybody else? <laughs> what but, else you got? Uh, this is the last album, but okay. this album's near and dear to my heart because it was almost the soundtrack to my childhood. And what's that? Uh, the Chronic. Really? Yeah, nigga. That changed that. Uh, yeah, that, that changed, changed a lot of shit yeah. too. I mean, we was doing LT parties and niggas didn't have a DJ. So niggas just put the chronic on and let it play from beginning to end. Yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. That Alfie, was a banging I ass mean, album. Yeah, it was, man. And we had never, never. Niggas didn't know what chronic was. No, nigga. had no idea. <laughs> uh, I was smoking it probably by then, but I didn't call it the chronic. <laughs> yeah. No, that was that. It a- was well written. Yeah. Uh, the combination of Snoop and Dre was just phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things about that album that I think are incredible, like the samples that he used, the production he did, uh, right down to s- some of the lyrics are just sick. Like, Rage had some of the dopest fucking lyrics on that yeah. album. When she said D E A T H and R O W take it, I was like, damn, you know. The, some of the lyrics on that were crazy. Corrupt. Corrupt know, was, was fucking killing shit. shit. <laughs> Corrupt is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, it, it used to be. It was, yeah. yeah. But, you know, that album, that album, that one and Snoop's first one. Yeah, are, Snoop are, was a good album. Are crazy. And the first fucking Dog Pound was phenomenal. Yeah. I um, mean, those albums are sick. Yeah, man. that Death Row run was a motherfucker. Yeah, they was putting out some shit. I felt bad for Rage, though, because they didn't really give her the, the chance she deserved. Right. But because uh, as far as a female MC, she's, she's a beast. And they didn't let her shine the way she should have. But, yeah, Chronic is a... That was a game changer. Everybody, st- everybody out came out after that trying to sound like that. I just thought of a question. What's that? What <clears throat> artist has the most classic albums? Oh shit! Under their wing, classic yeah, albums and the, and across their, the board. In their um, oh shit! In their uh, catalog, classic albums. Uh, I think Daylight's up there. Qua- Con- uh, Kanye gave you three. Kanye's up there. Jay uh, gave you. Maybe four or five, didn't he? Because you got what? Reasonable doubt. Uh, Blueprint. Blueprint. Uh, what's the one? The black album. Black Some album. Like the black album. Yeah. Oh. And uh, there was not the last one he came out with, but there was. There's another one in there, and I can't think of what, which one it was. But he has a crazy run too. Nas has a couple under his belt, maybe three. How many has he got out? albums he just I'm dropped like, three albums in, no he just dropped five albums in three years yes and i am so behind because i hadn't listened to and they're all pretty decent. all of them the last one i listened to is the one where he bought lauren hill back on there that was the one before he just dropped really that was king disease two i believe or three yeah that's yeah. the last one i listened to i so i'm behind i need to catch up yeah. but um yeah i think do you think his uh do you his, think beyonce got classics? classic album yeah i do but hers are more stood for her crowd as opposed to uh, across the board, well, I'll guess with any of the artists we just named, it's more geared to whoever, whoever their mm-hmm. uh, base core audience is, audience is. But yeah, I think she's got several. Uh, but her probably most profound or is probably Lemonade, because that's when she was going through her shit with Jay Z right. and the fam and everything. Right. And when you listen to it, you can hear it. Janet, she got classics. She got classics all day. And what's crazy about hers is. Whenever you listen to her album, you hear exactly what she was going through at that moment. You know, all her albums are like that. So that's pretty amazing. If you really, if you want to know an artist more so than just the music itself, that's the route to go with her because she she tells you everything and everything she wrote because it's all about her. So I think she's got classics. I think she got more classic albums than Mike does, to be honest with you. I don't know. I think she does. And the only reason why I say that is because he's got Thriller, which nobody can fuck with, you know, at all. But she has uh, Control, Rhythm Nation, Janet, um, Velvet Rope. Uh, Velvet and Rope is not a classic. Huh? Velvet Rope is not a classic. Yeah, it is. That's the one that um, her fans consider her no. best album. And those five albums right there are... Uh, well, Mike got for her. dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I didn't say. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know half the titles of, of his, his album. Shit. Invincible, <laughs> motherfucker. You got you just named two of them: yeah. Invincible, Dangerous, uh, uh, 
Bad. They were all one title albums, the except for Off the Wall. The Victory Tour. <laughs> it's a fucking album. <laughs> it is an album called the Victory Tour. It, the final lap. I got it. I by the it. Jacksons? Yeah. My mama bought it for me when I, it had my song on it. What's your Can song? you feel it? That's not the Victory Can Tour. Feel, that I is, swear to God. No, it's not. Nigga. What? I, well, maybe it wasn't. Can't it's feel not it. The, but it was another song on there that they did together that I like. I got the Victory Tour album. I, I had it's victory. not a Victory Tour album. Oh my God, nigga! I know exactly <laughs> what that, there is a live. Well, album. I mean, it's called Jackson Five. I don't know. Let me there's see. a live album they did, and then there's, uh, I think, Victory. It might have been Victory, yeah. and and it wasn't great. It had maybe three really good songs on it. One of them wasn't even Mike wasn't even on it. Randy sung it. Um, then they then that's when they came out with 2300 Jackson Street after that. And I think that was the last one they did all together. Well, I just put the word <laughs> tour at the end of it, but I think you're right. It was just called Victory. I know, nigga. Yeah, there's the Jackson. There's the cover. I know. We'll see them standing in the middle of the road. Yeah. And it's a, it's well, a painting. I swear, Can You Feel It was one of them. Can You Feel It is on uh, uh, Triumph originally because Destiny... Enjoy Yourself was first. Destiny. They had another one that came out after that. Then uh, Triumph came after that. But don't matter. We ain't talking about them. We talking about the track list. Oh, uh, which one? Uh, this victory. Victory. I, I know one more chance is on there. State of Shock is on. State there. of Shock was the song. Um, that's State the of with, Shock. That's the one with him and Mick Jagger, and yeah. it's supposed to be him and Freddie Mercury. Yeah, I think State of Shock is what I was thinking of. Still can't feel it. State of Shock is dope. I love that song. But uh, yeah, Chronic, classic out. Chronic. I wish he'd have produced Michael Jackson. The infamous Mob, the infamous album, classic. By who? Mob, Mob Deep. Deep. Which yeah. album? The infamous album. So I have to go back and listen to it. I wasn't huge on Mob Deep. No, you wasn't. No, you I wasn't. wasn't. You wasn't gangster. No, never been. <laughs> life is a scramble, we gamble for fun. No, life is a gamble, we scramble for money. I might crack a smile, but ain't a damn thing funny. I'm caught up line. in you where the hands get muddy. Plus the outcome turns out to be lovely. Got oh shit. <laughs> I four nine. We in this together, son. Your beef is mine. Stop singing these Yo, songs man, before we have to start shit. paying for get licensing. That. Oh, them niggas. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and them Negroes will come for their money. Well, so, uh, <laughs> quick quote that, that shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just I get excited <laughs> when I think about that shit. Yeah, I wasn't huge on Mob D. I oh, never. Man. I don't know why, but I want to go back and. As a matter of fact, yeah. at some point, I want you to like throw me some classic albums that I need to go listen to that I have. I can throw you all kinds, but I, you have to write them down because I ain't gonna remember shit. Started that Heavy D Boys, Heavy D and the Boys Big Time. I got that. I've got started all the, heavy the Big D shit. Time. I've got that. I started before that. He was on a compilation well, I'm just album. Saying when you listen to class, that that Puffy uh, had him yeah. on. Remember that Uptown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I wish I had that album uh, on CD somewhere. I wish I had the House Party soundtrack on somewhere on yeah. CD. But anyway, Chronic, dope ass album. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. So do I need to come up with a short list? For the next version, of I this? mean, you can if you want to, man. But your albums ain't classic like mine. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have System of a Down in there and shit. Do, am I like specified to a particular genre? No, you can. So any, I can do any classic. I want. Yeah, anything. Anything's I try to think of some rock albums. Actually, did you? Um, well, you maybe know, the Metallica top. Black. Uh, That's a good and album. Justice for All. Uh, Master of Puppets is uh, a really good album uh, by them. Um, uh, any other? Who, who are the metal Nirvana, groups that you listen to? Fucking you a huge Nirvana fan. The first Nirvana joint. You a huge Nirvana uh, fan. Who else do you like that's that's not of the hip hop genre? I used to like Corn a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, what about Limp Biscuit? Did you like them? I, it was all right. Uh -huh. I mean, I couldn't take too much of them. Uh -huh. um, I like. Uh, I'm figuring out. I like Soundgarden. Okay, uh, Chris Cornell was crazy. Yeah. Um, Did you ever hear his cover of Billy Jean? No, I think you told me about it. Yeah, you should check that uh, out. That's dope. He did an album with Timberland too that was hot. Yeah. His fans uh, was pissed though, but it was a hot album. Yeah, I, Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor. He's dope Bad too. Bad motherfucker. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, you know, I ain't, I ain't just motherfucking stuck over here. Johnny Cash, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't just ain't stuck <laughs> over here, nigga. I know you like Cash. But, yeah, I'm going I'm to come up with how many did you have on there on that list? Like five, six? Yeah. I five, mean, six. I'll know, do that. that I'll do that for the, ne- for the next one. I don't care what your album is on. We can do that. We can do that. All right. We'll do that. And until then, we'll hit y'all on the next one. Perfect.